by proxy in this case. Woomph! Then something remiss in the world of remote control brings that particular air adventure to a shattering moment of truth. And to people who design, build and fly radio-controlled model aircraft, it's an expensive mistake. About as funny as landing a hot air balloon on top of a tree. This isn't kid stuff. Flying a fleet of high-powered models like these can be almost as costly as running a small car. It calls for a knowledge of miniaturized engines, radio electronics, and quite obviously the ground-bound pilot must know his stuff when it comes to air currents and wind velocity. But when you are kitted up, you can stand in a field and fly around all day. But you have to hire the field, you can't fly in public. The only thing that usually brings them down is interference. Not from UFOs or low-flying aircraft, but from foreign radio stations. present, some of the more ambitious enthusiasts in the Bromley Radio-Controlled Model Aircraft Club are working on armed models that drop bombs and fire tiny machine guns. Not, they promise, at their bee-basketed chums in hot air balloons. Mm -hmm. 